I would like to introduce to you on a life cycle assessment of instant noodle. Before that, I would like to go for a short and simple introduction on instant noodle. Instant noodle was first invented in Japan by Nissin Foods Manufacturing. There are three types of instant noodles packaging which are in a cup, ball, and also individual packaging. Instant noodles contain high amount of sodium and monosodium glutamate which is not good for our health. However, it contains low calories but also low in fiber and protein. It is stated that about 106.4 billion serving of instant noodle eaten in 2019 and 290 million serving per day. Here are the first top 5 global demands on instant noodle. First, China Hong Kong. Second, Indonesia. Third, India. Fourth, Japan. And the fifth is Vietnam. Malaysia is on number 14 in this list. Malaysian favorite noodles are curry and tom yum. From the top 3 per capita consumption, Korea was listed on the number 1, followed by Nepal and Vietnam. So, here is a tips for you to choose a healthy noodles. Choose noodle which is from whole grain and add some vegetables and protein sources to your noodles. Now, let us move to the life cycle assessment of the instant noodle. The raw materials to produce instant noodle are oil, wheat, water, stabilizer, antioxidants and preservatives, and salt are the main ingredients of instant noodle. Extraction of raw materials cause much of the carbon emissions. Large area of forest been cleared for planting palm oil and wheat. It also caused threaten to the endangered species like orang utan. So, this is how the instant noodle manufacture. It begins from mixing the flour into dough. The dough is then rest for a while to allow the crumbly mixture to rest for a period to accelerate further hydration of the flour particles and to redistribute water in the dough system. The dough is then sheeting and then proceed for cutting and waving the dough into square and round shapes. The noodle seeds are transferred to steaming and molding stages. This is where the noodle sheets been cut into one serving size before moving to the fryer or the dryer. After this process, the noodle seeds are then fried for 140 to 160 degrees Celsius for 60 to 120 seconds. During these processes, more electrical energy been used to power the specialized machines. When the fry process is done, the noodle is now ready to be packed in three different forms which is individual, cup and bowl. 
the instant noodles are now ready for distribution to the retailers and the consumer. At this stage, chemical energy is mainly used in form of burning gasoline for transportation purposes. The packaging of the instant noodle, which is styrofoam cups, is then disposed into the landfill and some being recycled for other purposes. It is estimated 25 billion of styrofoam waste being thrown away per year. That is the end of the instant noodle life. Thank you for watching. For more information, do visit us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube regarding the life cycle assessment and environmental management.